Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts, and today we're going to be making some Christmassy themed coasters, and this is what you're going to need for it, as well as the resin. So, I've got my acrylic paints, I've also got some of these little stick-on pearls, which are really cheap. I will list everything in the description, so don't worry, so you can just link onto it. I've got some round coaster blanks, some little stars, wooden stars, but that my lovely friend Dulce sent me she's also got her own channel i'll link her channel at the bottom in the description as well brilliant channel brand new channel please check it out she's really good very creative anyway so she sent me these and lots of other things she's lovely and i've also got these little penguins which are called embellishment penguins and they just cost me a pound from a local store i'll see if i can find them on amazon if not i'm sure your little craft stores will do things like that so i want to first of all divide my sky up between my sky and my snow and i just want some snow banks and so it's as simple as for me as just doing a line so there's going to be my snow and that's going to be my sky and then i'm going to just draw in a quick little tree here as well uh, that i'm going to paint in very easy to do you don't need any artistic ability to draw in a little tray which is just as well because as you can see my artistic ability isn't brilliant so i'm just painting in here the snow and i will then follow that with the sky and this is just normal acrylic paint that i'm using for this there we go i will give it a second coat don't forget if you like my channel Hit that subscribe button and that like button. It really does help my channel grow. It's growing quite nicely now and allows me to keep making these videos. Lovely. Well, these are drying now and I've got one more thing to do with these that's gonna make it a little bit more three-dimensional. What I'm going to do, because these are made of felt, I'm actually going to coat, give them a coat of Mod Podge just to seal them. I also don't know how that material will react if the dye will come out when I put the resin on. So just on the safe side, I'm just giving it one coat of Mod Podge and letting that dry. And Mod Podge dries clear, so I'm not too worried about that. So these are now dry, and I'm quite pleased with the shape that they've come out. But what I want is, I want the snow to look a little bit more three-dimensional. So what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using my gel medium, which does take a bit of time to dry. And I'm going to be taking some of that like this, and this dries clear. So if you don't want it to dry clear, then you need to mix it with some white paint or whatever colour you want. I'm going to mix that in with my white acrylic paint. So it's completely mixed. And then I'm just going to dob that over the actual snow area to give it more of a three-dimensional look after I've poured the resin in. <laughs> I love playing. I'm like a child. So all I'm going to use is my spatula for this and I'm just going to put it on as if it was frosting. Don't need it. These are all dry now, my little trees are finished. And as you can see, the little trees are finished and the snow now looks a little bit more three dimensional. So what I need to do is I need to stick on my stars and I need to put on my penguin. Now my penguins have nicely dried as well. And so hopefully they should now be easy to put on. And I want the penguin to be front and center really of this so the penguin's going to go there on all of them and then i'm going to put the star to the side of those penguins and then i'm going to put the resin on now i'm just going to use good old mod podge for this because i love the way the mod podge works with resin there's never i've never had a reaction to it at all so that penguin is going to go there. I'll just push that down a bit. 
into all the bits and pieces. So he's nicely on there. And then I'm going to do the same with the star as well. And you don't need to use penguins. You could use whatever you like, or you could just literally do it all by painting. You know, you don't have to do this. These are just my ideas and, and concepts on how to create some great little coasters. I'm pushing that down quite hard as well. I want to add some pearls to this and then I'm gonna add some of these little tiny weeny little pearls. Again, I will put the link in the description. Now they do have a self adhesive back to them, but I do find that actually I'm better off with just putting a bit of super glue down where I want them to be. And then I have no problems with them moving. And actually I get them in the areas that I want them to be. And I also know exactly where I'm going to be putting them. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let these dry again. So make sure that glue's dry and the Mod Podge is dry where I've stuck down the little penguins and the stars. And then I'm gonna show you how you can resin these. I need to put a barrier around to allow that resin not run out. <laughs> because if not, it's just gonna run over. And it's too high, the actual star itself and the penguin are too high just to dome. So what I will use is I will use this sellotape or sticky tape and don't pull it too tight around your edge because if you do, what you do is you tend to get a bit of warping in the shape and then you don't get a nice finish at the end. So don't pull it too tight, just roll it like this on the tape until you've got it lapping over, cut it off like so. and then overlap it. And I always overlap it a little bit because I think that's that really does help. Now, that isn't enough because it can, if you're using quite a thin resin, it can run off quite easily out of there. So what I do is I take something, this is an old lollipop stick and I don't throw them, any of them away. I always keep them, stick them through the dishwasher and then they're ready to use. And I just go round and I burnish this tape to the edge of this coaster. And then that way you are less likely to get any leakage coming through. There we go. And I don't want to fill this up too high. Obviously I don't want this too deep, but I want it deep enough so it just covers up that penguin. Well, these are ready now to pour into and I've got my resin mixed up. And why I've got them on is I've got them on some really some yogurt pots and that is just in case any does decide to leak out then it will leak out and leak down rather than pull under and then stick to the backs because I really would like to put some felt on these on the back of them so I'm just going to pour the resin in until it fills up just over the penguin's eyes and we are going to get some bubbles, but the last thing you want to do if you have got bubbles is use a torch on these because the, you really, really don't want to be melting that tape that you've put around the sides. And a torch will, put, will melt the tape. So what I do is if I get bubbles like this and look, some have come up, I just go over it with a lighter, which you can be a lot more careful with. But these have cured now. And I'm really pleased of how they've come out. I'm just going to take the tape off. <laughs> I love that. Now, what I have to do is be honest and say, look, I did put the tape on a little bit tight. And as a result, I got a wiggly edge around the sides. But actually, I really do like that look around those sides because it gives it more of a, a snowy feel and a sky fill. I love how those coasters have come out. I really do. So there's the whole set of them. And again, I'm really pleased with them. I also, while I was doing this, did a couple of extra little bits as well. And I used the same bits that Dolce had sent me. And I had some of these wooden ornaments for, for the tree available. So I stuck them on them, used exactly the same technique 
And I think they look great. And I think they're going to look very, very pretty hanging on a tree or hanging on a reef or anything like that. So it's just an extra little bonus of something else that I did. Check out the next video coming up on the screen now. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And check out my members only area. It's a great little group. It really is growing nicely now and it all helps to keep this channel going. And if you don't want to become a member and you'd like to just say thank you, then check out the Buy Me A Coffee link that's in the description as well that, or that's on the front of my page. I appreciate it ever such a lot. Take care. Bye.